Today I'm talking all about the good stuff. A long time ago, long before I started my YouTube channel, I used to go to YouTube to find the good stuff. <laughs> I didn't want to have to shop around for whatever it is I needed, whether it was blush or a lipstick or a good purse. I was looking for somebody who had already done the work, found a good one, and I could go out and buy it. <laughs> Easy peasy, right? That's what I'm talking about today. Things that I feel like are great buys that really surprised me and are such a huge part of my lifestyle right now. Everything I'm talking about today is all over the board. Everything from kitchen items to beauty items to fashion. I mean, it's everywhere. But these are things that I love that were such a good buy and so very, very worth it. If you're new here, I'm so glad you stopped by for this one. I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50 where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. I hope you'll consider subscribing while you're here and make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Everything that I'm going to be sharing today were real surprises to me. In other words, when I first picked them up, I was sort of iffy or wasn't really sure they were going to fill a need, but I thought I would try them anyway. Every single one has surprised me. I would pay so much more than I paid for them. They're a big part of my everyday routine and I love having them in my life and I thought that I would share them with you. As always, all products that I mentioned today, as well as what I'm wearing, will be listed and linked below, so super easy for you to find. And with that, let's hop into the good stuff. The first thing I want to talk about are these mason jars, and don't laugh. <laughs> And if you already have mason jars, good on you. I am late to the party. I originally picked these up, the big ones, when I started growing sprouts in my kitchen. I picked up the big jars because I wanted to grow big quantities of sprouts. Of course, you guys know I'm growing microgreens now too, but I still do sprout sometime. I have a special sprout lid that I put on top of these jars to be able to grow alfalfa sprouts and broccoli sprouts in here. What I have found is that these stinking jars are so handy in my kitchen. I can't believe that I went for 60 something years without having a whole bunch of these. <laughs> I am trying to kind of slowly move away from plastic storage for my food. We're just finding out that there's so much in plastic that we really don't want in our food system and we don't want it to end up in our bodies. So I'm trying to very slowly in an easy and comfortable way move away from plastic and use glass jars and glass storage in my kitchen. What I am finding is these are so stinking handy, far more than I ever thought they would be. And I love the fact that they're glass. I bought the larger ones originally for my sprouting, went out and bought the smaller ones. This is more of the standard canning size. And I use the heck out of these. I store the dog food that I make at home in these. I store cat food. I store everything in here. And one of the things that is really surprising to me that makes these so great for storage is when you put them in the refrigerator, they have such a small footprint on the shelf of the refrigerator that it really is a very, very smart way to store leftovers because it takes up so little space on the shelf in the refrigerator. These are so inexpensive. Of course, they come with the canning jars and I do think I'm going to start doing some canning this summer. So these will definitely come in handy. If you don't have mason jars in your kitchen and you've thought about it, I can recommend recommend that you run out and get yourself some. I have found that both of these sizes are super, super handy. This is what I store my cucumber soup in and lots of other things that are too large for the more canning size. This size is so handy for leftovers, for dry goods, for a number of things. Very easy, very accessible, easy to clean, very, very affordable. So if you don't have canning jars in your kitchen and you've thought about it, run right out and get yourself some. Since we're talking about jars, this is a little bonus product and I'll tell you, this thing has saved me. This is a gripper for when you're trying to open up jars. You probably already have one of these, but if you don't and you ever have a hard time opening up jars, you need one of these because they make it so much easier. What I use these for a lot every day is I get the large bottles of sparkling water and they have that little metal cap at the top. I have the hardest time getting that sucker off the bottle. I don't know if my hands are always lotion-y or what, but I I bought these and these make getting off those lids off my sparkling water bottle so much easier. In addition, when I'm trying to open up a jar that is new or fresh or stuck, I haul this out of the drawer. I have a couple of these, can't live without it. 
The next item that I want to talk about is my Revlon One Step. This is a hair dryer. I looked at this sucker for months and I kept thinking, you know, my hair is too short for that because it has a big head on it and you're supposed to like roll your hair around it. And I thought, you know, that's not going to work for my hair because my hair is too short. Well, I was in Ulta one day and I thought, you know, I'm just going to throw it in my basket, go ahead and pick it up. And if it doesn't work out, I can return it because Ulta is literally around the corner from my house. So I brought it home and I tried it and oh my gosh I cannot believe how much easier this makes styling my hair drying my hair the whole process I just washed my hair this morning and all the curl and all the body that you see in my hair from this did not use my flat iron at all first of all on the high setting I dry my hair until it's almost completely dry and then I'll turn it down to the lower setting and I'll roll my hair out and I'll really concentrate on building volume and lift in my hair I love this so much and I cannot imagine going back to something that doesn't have a brush on the end this makes styling my hair so much easier and so much quicker I wish I would have gotten a few years ago but I just didn't realize how wonderful it was. Now one thing I want to let you know is that there's a little bit of controversy about this type of dryer. A lot of people will say that it will break off your hair and you'll end up with less hair over time. My experience has not been that and I use this sucker every single time I wash my hair now and I do use it to style in between washings. What I do is that when I'm drying my hair, in other words, I'm not pulling or rolling on my hair. I'm simply just using my head as a big roller and stroking the hair back and forth to get it dry. I'll have it on the high heat. When I'm styling it, in other words, rolling this around my hair, I turn it down to the low setting so that it's a little bit more gentle on my hair and I don't get it breaking off. So keep that in mind if you're going to pick this up. If you're going to style your hair with it, make sure you're using the right setting. This little sucker has become such a wonderful part of my getting ready routine makes it quicker, easier, more fun. I love using it. I think it's a great value. If you've been looking at this and still haven't gotten off the fence, I can highly recommend it. The next product I want to talk about is from The Ordinary, and I don't know if this is new to their line. I think it might be, or if it's just new to me. This is The Ordinary Salicylic Acid 2% and hydrous solution. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not really sure. Here's what I use this for. When I was younger, I had very oily skin and acne. Now that I'm older, I still get blackheads on my chin area and on my nose. Even though my skin is not oily and it doesn't get oily throughout the day, I still get congestion in that area. I use this every single morning on the areas of my chin and my nose where I get oil congestion it turns into blackheads. This is the best solution I have found for that for my skin. I've been using other products, a couple from The Ordinary, a couple of other things I picked up. Nothing works as well as this one. Now it doesn't completely get rid of that congestion. I think it's just going to be a part of my skin for the rest of this particular earth journey, but it makes it so much better. And I like this solution very much because it's a little bit viscous. There's something in it that makes it a little bit thicker and it feels almost a little oily, which is nice when you have an acid solution. So I'll just put a tiny drop into my hand, dip my fingers in it right here, go over my chin, and then the area on my nose where I have blackheads. It's about the third or fourth serum that I use in my routine in the morning. Of course, you guys know everything that goes on my face goes on the back of my hands. Whatever's left over in my fingers goes there because I don't want to use it and my hands can certainly use skincare just like my face can. If you have blackheads or congestion in any area of your face, you might want to give this a try. It's super affordable as everything is from the ordinary and it has worked really, really well for me. My blackheads are a lot lighter. They're a lot fewer. They're a lot less noticeable and I love the way this formula feels on my skin. It hasn't dried my skin out at all and I use it every single day. So thrilled to have found this. I would have paid twice what I paid for this to have it. It's been a regular part of my skincare routine and I love it. Make sure you stay to the very end because I'm going to be sharing an article of clothing that I wear entirely too much. <laughs>
This is the Clavu Nourishing Care Lip Sleeping Pack. Have you tried this? Oh my gosh. I love this so much. This was sent to me, I think by Yes Style, gosh, about a year and a half ago. I've been using this product ever since. This is the lip sleeping mask that sits on my nightstand that goes on my lips right before I go to bed at night. I have not found anything that I love as much as this. It is so thick and so hydrating and feels so very good on my skin. And Oh my gosh, my lips are so nice when I wake up in the morning. I have tried a few other lip sleepy masks. I haven't found a single one that's as good as this. This is not super expensive. It's a little bit more than drugstore, but still very, very affordable. I like it because it sits on my lips. It doesn't move around. It sinks in in a really beautiful way. And when I wake up in the morning, my lips feel so hydrated and so nice. You can see how little it is, but it lasts me for months and months and months. I think this one will probably last seven or eight months. It really is such a great value, such a good product. I enjoy this so much. This goes on my lips every single night before I go to bed, and I'm so glad I found it. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the article of clothing that I'm embarrassed to say I wear so many times during the week. It really is a staple in my wardrobe, and you know what it is? It's these lap jogger pants. I picked these up, gosh, maybe six, seven, eight months ago. And I can tell you that almost every single time I go out of the house, I'm wearing these pants. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but that's how good they are. They are a fabric that feels a little bit slick, not like a flannel or not like a cotton. It's a little bit smoother than that. And the way these pants are cut are so flattering and they are so comfortable. I wear the heck out of these and I probably should get two pair because you know <laughs> I wear them that much. I have worn these joggers out to lunch, to a nice lunch, like a luncheon, and they look terrific. You know, they're banded on the bottom, so they're really a cute fit. The thighs are nice and loose because I carry a lot of weight in my thighs, so my thighs are a little bit larger than proportional to my body, but these are not tight around my thighs. They're very, very comfortable. I've worn these out to lunch with a nice sweater and boots that cover up the jogging area and they look exactly like slacks. In addition, I wear these hiking all the time because they clean up really easily. They have wonderful pockets right here. They are so stinking comfortable. There is nothing binding, nothing tight, no zippers, nothing that bunches up or grabs at me. I don't like to wear clothes that make my day harder. I like my clothes to be a good companion and to feel nice. These joggers have a wide waistband so it's not rolling over or cutting into my stomach and I'm not one of those people that hold my stomach in all day long. I don't have the time for that. Besides, no one cares about my stomach. They're all worried about their own stomach. So <laughs> that's not a part of my world. These joggers have been such a good buy. I got them right off of Amazon and as a matter of fact I bought this same pair in a camo pattern that are equally as cute, equally as comfortable and I wear those with a pretty sweater when I'm going out to lunch or I can also hike in those. If you're looking for a super comfortable, super versatile pair of joggers, I can highly recommend these. I don't know what I paid for them. It was probably around $20. Whatever it was, I would have paid double if I would have known at the time that they were going to be as handy, as comfortable, as versatile, and so very useful as these are. So I'll go ahead and have these linked down below. I'm probably going to order another pair of these. That's how good they are. The banding around the ankles is not too tight, but it does really create kind of a very nice look when you're putting together an outfit. So love love, love these. Can't imagine what I would wear if I didn't have these in my wardrobe. They're so easy to put on. They always look terrific. They wash up great. I've washed these, gosh, probably once or twice a week since I got them and they still look terrific. Those are the things that I really love that make my life so much easier, so much more convenient. And oh my gosh, I'm so glad to have these things in my life. I hope you found this fun, useful, and helpful. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up.
If you haven't subscribed to my beauty newsletter, it's free. It comes out every Sunday. It has a bunch of great information, including all the good sales and good finds that I stumble across. You can sign up easily right down below. If you're new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. You guys know I get so tickled when you take a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me. I appreciate that and I appreciate you. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50 where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. Make it a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.